Hello chess lovers, Soren here and I have a very fascinating game for you from chess.com speed chess championship where in a tough battle Sergei Koryakin faced Jan Christoph Duda. This game was played with 3 minutes plus 1 second increment time control and Duda started the game with d4. Knight f6 by Koryakin, c4, e6, knight f3, d5, Knight c3, c6, Koryakin goes for semi slav defense e3, Knight d7, and Queen c2, Duda is choosing anti meron variation, which is the main alternative to Bishop d3. White is actually making a waiting move, and now d takes c4 can be met with Bishop takes c4, White will develop his Bishop with a tempo without losing a precious time. But Bishop d6 was played by Koryakin, Bishop e2, here there is a very sharp line which starts with g4, Shirov Shabalov Gambit, which leads to very complex positions, but after bishop d6, Duda chose a calmer line, he played bishop e2. We see castling by both sides, b6, now comes e4, d takes e4, knight takes e4, knight takes e4, queen takes e4, queen c7, bishop d3, white is already creating a mating threat, g6, now comes queen h4, the queen will start putting pressure on black's king side from the h-file, bishop b7, bishop d2, of course knight g5 won't give white anything because it can be met with knight f6, that's why after bishop b7, bishop d2 was played, Duda is going to bring his bishop on the long diagonal, now comes c5, knight g5, knight f6, d takes c5 and b takes c5, after which white is actually managing to gain advantage. It was better either to play bishop e5 or capture on c5 with a bishop, if bishop c3 then e5. But in the game after d takes c5 we see b takes c5. Now comes rook e1 h5 and bishop c3 after which this is becoming very dangerous. Knight g4 was played which is losing on the spot well e5 could have prolonged the game though in this case white can go for f4 trying to open up the bishop's diagonal if rook e8 then after several exchanges on e5 square white can simply capture f6 and again this is going to be winning for white. In the game after bishop c3 we see knight g4 and in this position Duda made a move and Koryakin resigned. Can you find his next move? Ready? He simply captured on h5. Look at this majestic queen sacrifice. Right now there is a mating threat and if a move like g takes h5 then simply bishop h7 checkmate. Or after queen h5, if a move like f6, blocking the dark squared bishop's diagonal, then this time white can simply grab the knight on g4, if bishop takes h2 then king h1, and if black captures on g5 then rook e6, and actually black has no chance to survive. That's why after this devastating queen sacrifice, Korya king resigned. Actually, this queen sacrifice reminds me of a very famous game which was played by Vera Menchik against Sonia Graf Stevenson. In that game, after h5, Menchik played rook d1, and after knight g4, she played rook d7, after which actually black resigned. Because the thing is that after luring away black queen from this h2 b8 diagonal, white can go for this queen takes h5 move, after which the game is over. Looks very similar, right, to Koryakin's game. This is Menchik's queen sacrifice and this is Duda's queen sacrifice. In both games, semi-slav was played, that's why the positions look very similar. This is actually very surprising to see how Sergei Koryakin, who is considered to be one of the best blitz players in the world, is getting crushed in 19 moves in such a brutal style. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game, for more games don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I will see you in the next video.